there was another interesting question since the past is an illusion why do masses hold on to it like it is real it is very interesting what else do you have except your past the ego thrives on the past you remove the past you will see that there is no individual there is just pure experience our past is also our knowledge and our knowledge is also our limitation what we experience is only that which we know it is because of this illusion of the past remove your knowledge and there is nothing there is not even the individual this is like a death for the ego and it is going to resist it because the tendency of the ego is to stay alive it is a machine built for survival clinging to memory is the nature of the ego you remove the memory it's gone who am i without the memory there is nothing there so there is a natural resistance in the ego about letting go of the past and this is the short answer and probably this is very clear answer it is a part of the parcel of be- being an individual the attachment with the memory is part of this experience the memory is in a form of a story that i was this i was a little baby i was the young man i was doing this job i was married to this and that and i am here yesterday this happened to me and notice that <laughs> it is all i there the memory is connected to the individual and now you will wonder why <laughs> why do i need an individual to remain the, uh, to remember um, the whole past try to remember it without the i what do you have and you will find something interesting that wherever the i was not there that those events are forgotten there is hardly any place in your life where the i is not there probably in sleep probably in dreams this one is not there there is somebody else and you will see that promptly the system has erased all those memory the only memory that you have in the waking state is tightly connected with individuality how can you let go of it <laughs> there is no person without a memory a person is simply a bunch of memories yes 90% of them are gone but the the illusion stays that i am that you have a handful of memories right now which are useful for your current survival you today you want to get by using those memories if i take them take them away there is no today there is no life so it is not a surprise that people cling to their memories that is a natural occurrence that a person is defined by his or her past take away the past it's not there do you think it's a problem no it's not a problem what is wrong in having a memory the problem is thinking that i am this memory that is the only problem i am a witness of this memory as a witness i am already perfect if 90% or 100% of those memories are gone or replaced it does not bother me at all yes but the ego is terrified because it will be erased also that is against its tendency to survive as soon as i say that let go of this memory let go of your negative thoughts the ego is going to resist because its life is the memory its life is negative thoughts positive thoughts all kinds of thoughts you will see that in your waking state most of your mental activity is repeating your past is repeating your memory it is scanning through the memory and you repeat it it is scanning through the memory and that brings up impulses out of the memory which we call desires and the body acts on those those desires and you repeat it every day it is running like a machine it does not want to change there is a resistance to towards changing as we grow up the resistance increases if you do not really mature what you call maturity is more clinging to what i am as an individual as a person with they saying it feels safe in the past yes today is a struggle isn't it past is something which is stationary you can change the future but you cannot change the past and then yes it is my home it is home uh, to the ego and there is no problem at all you see the ignorance is the problem even the clinging is not a problem because that is necessary for the survival what happens is your experience is not all positive isn't it it is technical or experience all shades are there all colors are there and if there is something in your past which is dark dirty which you don't want to look at that is also being preserved as a part of the personality here we enter the affliction 
it is like this in all the layers of the memory if you study it carefully those who are interested in splitting hair if you study all the layers because when i say individual it's nothing it's a collection of layers of the memory without memory there is no layers of the, there are no layers of the memory there is nothing for the individual there won't be an individual so all this darkness is preserved as a part as a structure of the layer to me that feels unfortunate but for the from the universal point of view as nothing big it's business as usual it is not interested at all what is dark what is light what is happy thought what is unhappy thought it does not mind the variation the the painting that is made out of all these colors it's it welcomes all experience it welcomes clinging to the unhappy parts of our lives now look at this there is so much peace here i am okay with whatever happened in my past this is how it happened we we'll look at it and we continue there is no need to react and replay it and then react again and then replay it again from various angles and do the what if analysis this is what we call as living in the past there is no need yes there is a tendency to cling to the past to keep the past alive just observe this tendency and let the past be the past why do you keep replaying it in the present there there are a lot of things to do in the present if you don't do anything today how is it going to go into the memory the memory will remain blank and there will be a lot of room for the past to appear again in that blankness the mind will try to fulfill your blankness with the pictures of the past do you really want that you see the past is stale it is like rotten food you want today's food you want freshly cooked nice smelling food you don't want something which is which you stuffed in your fridge 2 months ago it is frozen it is rotten it is stale tasteless yes it is finest kind of food but it's gone now it is old you will see that your most positive memory is also fading like it's colorless now and if you recall it few times it becomes boring the whole of the past is boring that's why you see there is an anticipation of the future there otherwise we won't be motivated to live a life that is why we say that it is an affliction if you live in the past because there is no motivation to work towards the future then there is too much clinging the individual is too much this one activity is dominating too much there is no individual in the present in the present there is only an experience as soon as the experience is committed to the memory the activity of uh, identity formation claims it oh it is my memory it is my experience all this happened to me so the individual always is in, is in the past there is nothing in the present right now right here there is only experience and the individual projects the past in the future so sometimes the individual is in the future you have three places to live your life the past the present and the future now the problem with the future is we don't know it it must be used for motivation and then you are left with the present so you must come back to present to feel alive the past is dead so it is all okay it's it's a um, mechanism we are born with this mechanism when we assume a limited form these things are given to us you cannot refuse it no no i want a human birth but i don't want this mechanism of individuality and past and all this give me something better yes there can be better who knows but not in the human form you will need to leave this form there is tremendous freedom in not being attached to the past and that is why we are not satisfied with the human form that is why the recommended way is to get rid of the human form you can taste it actually you can let go of some parts of your past that they were not me who knows to whom that happened and you will instantly find a peace in your mind you will instantly find that a lightness in your whole being that why well, i was not that <laughs> who did all those mistakes and who went through all the, those hellish experiences or even the good experiences because as you know the mind creates suffering out of the good experiences also the suffering is in is in a form of missing i miss all those good days i miss that person i miss that event this is suffering it is not happy that it happened it is unhappy that it's not happening it is a strange thing it is an affliction as soon as you let go of the past you will find kind of lightness as if you got wings now you are free 
with the more you let go the less individual you become so you must draw a line otherwise madness is the result which you don't want being in the human form you want to be normal so the solution is uh, that which i said in the beginning that uh, all you need to do is observe the process of being an individual observe that it cannot let go of the past because it will die if it, it goes if it lets go of the past the ego will not remain so this is there is a protection from the mother nature cannot do too much of it just be aware of the negativity that is coming from the past that is our problem the past is not the problem identification with the negative past is causing present to slip away this is what i see most of the people they are attached to the past that is not a problem but they are attached to the bad parts of it not the good parts of it they are so attached that they continue it even after death in the next birth and following 100 births what happens is there is a erasure mechanism also <laughs> where the um, events are erased but the tendencies are kept everybody knows this we are born with no memory of the past but it is not that we are born with no past at all no we we take our past with us to the next life also and they appear as tendencies nothing is actually erased only the connection is cut that, that, that also a little bit of it most of it is we are carrying it right now it is an accumulation so this little bit of erasure it gives us a relief to change otherwise we will never change because the burden of the past is too big so we take advantage of this new birth and we try to become free from the past that is the whole philosophy of becoming free from your karmic impressions your karmic bonds now i can give you a trick that you don't need to die and reborn and then repeat it thousand times you can do it now you know the mechanism now you can hack it like a good hacker just do it now see that the past is an illusion see that nobody did anything see that it does not belong to me especially the bad parts learn from them and then do not touch them again you will very quickly find that you are erasing your karmic uh, um, registers it is magic this identification is this identification with the past only the past is that which this individual has done probably thinking that ah, i am doing it it has done it there is really no doer but there is an attachment with the doing so let go of this attachment and you will immediately find that your karmic registers are being erased your next birth is going to be with freedom not with the burden not only next birth your next year and 10 years after this they will seem to be more free compared to today so this is the trick <laughs> utilize it if you want i keep doing it all the time you don't need to um, forget the past you need to decide identify with the past oh it happened so what so many things happen in this universe <laughs> yesterday there was rain day before that was very hot day do i remember all these things no i don't because you see the individual is not involved it was not done by the individual as in the same way whatever the body does whatever the mind does is not done by anybody there is bondage but but it is very weak the strings of the past are very very feeble you can break them cut them very easily just like you ignored the rain you ignored the sunshine you ignored the cold days and you ignored the hot days you ignore the good and bad that happened in your life oh it happened yes things keep happening all the time and that is going to give you a lot of freedom which you will never experience if you cling to the past so there there is a shortcut you see there is no need to totally clean it there is no need to forget it and this is called forgiveness for some reason that we forgive whatever was done by myself as an individual this is being free from the karmic stuff while in the body so hopefully now you know the answer to you know why do people cling to the past and now you know a trick to become free from it without doing anything you see <laughs> letting go is not doing don't repeat it don't replay it like you replay the same you play the same cd every day don't do it buy a new cd watch a new movie there's huge potential in human life there is nothing in the past it is just a device to keep the illusion of the individual going use it 
for that and just throw it through the rest of it it's not important the present is important the future is important i saved your thousand lives now if you make this thing a part of your personality who knows how fast you will evolve the difference is that of a bicycle and a jet plane just one simple teaching about the past the self has no past how is it alive <laughs> that is a miracle isn't it so thinking that i need a past to be alive is a kind of deep ignorance i am alive without the past i am alive with the past this is knowledge so if there are no more questions from your side i'll take one more which will be our last <clears throat> topic today there was a question that um, is enlightenment or knowing my true nature the highest level of awareness and is it only a recognition or remembrance very nice very very good question here what is higher than enlightenment and and there is a good thing about this question is that he has already defined the meaning of the word enlightenment that he says enlightenment or knowing my true nature yes if you define enlightenment as knowing your true nature that is the final absolutely nothing is needed after this but there can be questions like what about my liberation what about this body what about this mind what about the jeev what about the causal body what about god i want to merge with god and all and let me tell you very impolitely that if there are such such questions that means the enlightenment or, or the self realization has not happened or that means you did not contemplate you did not think about the implications of your true nature because these questions are totally meaningless when you know your true nature liberation of what merging with what you are the only one there <laughs> where are you going to find somebody else to merge with you are the whole what are you going to liberate into the body mind are illusions even if you do something to them they are impermanent experiences they are good as they are what are these thoughts in your mind what can it mean when you say all these things it can only mean that you keep aside your realization and you're back on your old old track not going forward going backward again that is stupidity that is not enlightenment now i'm not saying that you should not ask questions yes you see realization has happened now there are questions now here you are going to need a teacher because your mind is not going to cooperate here so teacher makes it very quick the teachers fortunately on the path of knowledge are very impolite they get irritated very easily and so fixes the mind very quickly there there are other paths which you will like hopefully everything can be done on the path of knowledge very quickly but some people don't like it no 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 my answers are very important my questions are very important. okay then try some other path which is designed for stupid people and there you, you can do all the meditations to merge with the god and you can do everything all the kundalini experiences to liberate your causal body and they will feed you all the sugar coating sugar coated knowledge yes you are this big being yes you are this whole universe yes you get all the powers and all yes you will meet this big entity and that big entity and this miracle and that miracle these things are for people who do not get it directly self realization end of all end of everything no realization seeking 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 doing all kinds of circus there is no liberation there is no merging nothing happens to the body nothing happens to the mind they are illusions nothing happens to the causal body it is a bigger illusion but the world is suffering look there is no world also it is a dream so if the self realization has happened it will be final if there if there is action no problem the action is happening in the complete realization complete awareness you see this illusion must continue this body mind must continue and then there is nothing wrong in that what kind of realization is it if you want things to change or you if you want to stop things from changing both are idiotic thoughts what is wrong there no no i got self realized now i need to do this thing and i need to live my life like this and so on that means the self realization never happened you still think that it is my life you still think that you are the doer you know this is very irritating and no teacher can stand this thing i am self realized but i need to do something what kind of stupidity is this and so they will be kicked out of the path of knowledge 
remember if your teacher is so strict if your teacher is so impolite and looks like your enemy then you are very fortunate you will be out of this mess in no time if your teacher is a very sweet person and is is promising to fulfill all your desires all this very very illogical irrational desires that you have after realization <laughs> then your whole life will be wasted this is what i mean by having a teacher who is very strict they don't like it they will break your they will shatter your illusions mercilessly that is the only way i've seen actually i've never seen anybody who got out of it using the sweet paths use, using the long term paths no they keep traveling on it, on it what are you doing yes i'm worshiping this and that deity is it okay yes i'm benefiting a lot okay then for a million lifetimes the deity will keep benefiting you that is what deities do what about your liberation yes yes the deity told me that i'll get liberation in future what about your liberation yes this and that meditation will bring the liberation it, it is going to dissolve my causal body in no time and they continue like this is it even possible to dissolve it <laughs> is it even possible for a deity to liberate you why is that deity not liberated yet what is he doing in the heaven it is the same thing like an astrologer telling you that you will get gold the gold is in this direction in future why is that poor fellow so poor who knows everything about all the gold in the world and who can predict the future the same thing if your guru does not get angry by you you're saying that i got the realization but i have these questions and there is no hope then you have booked the ticket to a vacation that is going to last forever so if you are on the path of knowledge and your guru keeps beating you you are very fortunate it is very simple it is a recognition yes that uh, yes i am this i forgot continue it is highly boring <laughs> there is no uh, the, the firework show here there is no this grand symphony orchestra nothing so i forgot my real nature thank you you told me my real nature that should be the end of the spiritual path it is so simple it is a non event why do we keep talking about it like endlessly because of the ignorance the ignorance is a big, big event actually can there be a bigger miracle than ignorance in this world in this universe knowledge is very simple it's not a miracle and either you are going to laugh once you know your true nature or there will be tears of joy <laughs> that is the only reaction i have seen on the path of knowledge there is nothing more than that once you know your true nature you see it's like remembering and then nothing needs to be done why do we keep doing it why do we keep lecturing why are there satsangs and so many videos and the programs i am making you write the articles <laughs> why are there so many meditations and practices because the seeker won't accept the simple truth is very irritating i'll tell you